Hey guys, so I want you to take a look at these article writers here on Fiverr, okay? Now, Patricia here says she will craft captivating blog, SEO blog article and blog writing as a content writer. Nadine here says she will write your SEO text in perfect German. Samad here says I will be your SEO writer, content writer or blogger. Anaya Ahmed says she will do article writing, blog post writing and content writing. So these are people here making money here on Fiverr and all they're doing is just writing articles for people, SEO optimized articles. And in this video, I just want to show you how you can do something very, very similar using an AI SEO tool. Okay, this is actually very simple. Some of these writers here are using AI tools, but some of them are also just doing the old fashioned way, writing them manually. And if you come back up over here at the top and open this one here by Patricia, you can see she currently has over 600 reviews okay now reviews are usually the minority of people who have actually used these services okay so the majority of people who have not even added a review here and if you look at on the right hand here she has the basic plan which is 38 dollars this is just a short article seo blog design for article rewriting writing copy for an article blog website page up to 500 words okay then she has the standard package which is 76 then she has the premium package which is 114 dollars okay now this one goes up to 1500 words okay and all she's just doing is writing captivating seo blog articles okay now i want to show you something that i did similar okay this is an article i wrote using an ai seo tool okay so it was maintain your blood sugar levels or maintain your blood sugar easy tips for health Okay, we have the introduction here. Okay, now as you can see here, this is an affiliate link. Okay, this is an affiliate link that's been added into this blog. And then down here, we have a video. Now, what this SEO tool does, it extracts YouTube videos which are related to that content and it uploads it here on this article. Okay, and if you scroll down further, here we have takeaways. So, these are the takeaways, what people, uh, what people will take away from this article. So, understanding the importance of healthy blood sugar levels, adopting lifestyle changes, regular monitoring of blood sugar, dietary choices, managing stress effectively. Okay. And then here we have the other subtitles. Okay. And then here we have something that's very, very important. This is a table. Okay. Tables are very powerful in SEO. And usually articles that have a table tend to rank much higher. Okay. So, this one is showing the blood sugar level tables uh, status potential implications here there's a signs of high and low blood sugar okay there is signs of high blood uh, of high blood sugar there is signs of low blood sugar and then here we have an image okay so again it extracts images complementing the article okay and then the article goes on we have another table here okay we have more subtitles here another image here okay more content and another table here and another table here and we have bullet points as well okay another table there more bullet points another table we have another image here and then lastly we have conclusions and faqs okay and again as you can see affiliate link here and if you click on this link here it takes you to the product where they can find more information about this product and they can actually buy it from here okay and then lastly here as you can see there are also other sources of links okay also very helpful in seo because these sources also help with authority when it comes to seo okay you're basically telling google that your article is linked to other related sources so this is a powerful seo tool and i'll link it down in the description it's called seo writing and once you have created your account it's going to look something like this okay this will be a dashboard so what you're first going to do is click on this one here now you can do a one click blog post or you can do bulk article generation so what you want to start with is this one here okay once you have clicked on that here you can enter your keyword your main keyword now whatever it is that may be the client one so whatever it is that you want to write about you can actually enter it over here okay now let's say the client wants an article on maybe um uh, traveling okay let's say they want to write an article on traveling so here i'll just say traveling all right and then you can just click on generate a title over here and as you can see here it's going to generate a title so discover the world your ultimate traveling guide okay so far so good and then scroll down further you have the language you can select any language they have all major languages here next we have tone of voice okay currently it's friendly but they have different tones of voice there's professional informational transactional inspirational all of these okay as you can see you can select any then you also have the point of view so you have first person singular that is i me my mine first person plural we us ours second person and third person now usually articles that do well are first person singular okay the eyes me my 
those ones that are actually writing about your personal experience okay because that is what people want your personal experience okay so we're going to select that okay and then next we have target country here you can target any country okay any country that you want i'm just going to leave it at none okay and then here on your right hand side you have article size okay this is currently medium so medium is going to be between 2400 to 3600 words and that will include 9 to 12 h2 headings okay now it depends on the number of words that the client wants or it depends on how you've packaged your prices okay so usually premium will be over 2000 words so this is more likely for the premium uh, for a premium package that you can be offering on fiverr okay but if you want to go smaller maybe the client wants a smaller ad call you can do 1200 to 2400 or a much smaller 600 to 1200 okay so i think i'll just leave it at default i'll leave it at medium and of course you can even go even larger a model you're going to leave it at anthropic cloud okay this one is most popular but if you know the exact model that you want you can select this and as you can see they also have gpt or uh, 4.0 mini they have the previous model they have again anthropic here and they have other previous models okay so just leave it at this one here if you're not really sure all right uh next you have these api keys you can just ignore these ones here you don't really need that Humanized text here you can select. There is 8th to 9th grade. This one here is easily understood and it's the one that's recommended. Okay, but if you click on that, you will see the other options. There is the 6th uh, grade, easy to read. This one is a conversational language. 7th grade, fairly easy to read. 8th to ninth, uh, eighth and ninth grade, easily understood. This is the one that was recommended. Then there is 10th to 12th grade, fairly difficult to read. Okay, so you just want to leave it at the, the one that's recommended here. But you can also go ahead and select like professional extremely difficult or graduate or college difficulty okay once you're done with that you have here and if you hover over this one here it says please ensure the information you input and lines with the main keyword in title okay so here's basically the details that you want to include on your ad call maybe the client has specific details you can actually add them here so for me i'll just say here maybe something like best uh traveling uh, destinations uh, let's say in Africa, uh, Asia, uh, Europe, and I think I'll just leave it at that. Next, you have your media hub. Okay, so here you have AI images. So if you want to enable AI images, if you want to add them, you can actually enable that. If you don't, you can disable that, and you can also specify the number of images that you want. Okay, I'll just leave it at three image style okay you can also do that if you enter photo cartoon cubism expression abstract the real whatever it is that you want to choose from here okay i think i'll just leave it at photo uh, image size they have different image sizes that you want now usually the one that you want is the one that's been selected here but if you want a specific one you can go ahead and choose it i'll just leave it by the default additional instructions so this is basically the details that you want to use to generate this pro uh, to generate the images so as you can see if you hover it says you can provide details to be used for generating prompts for all the images okay so for example a character wearing a red jacket or depict a rainy city street okay you can be precise with the instructions okay brand name again you can enter brand name here if you hover over this it says the specified brand name will be included in the generated images okay so what will happen the image that will be generated i can actually enter a brand name okay or a watermark maybe just below the image okay so i can just enter like my name over here okay maybe the name of the client or you can just leave it like that all right then here you have youtube videos you can select youtube videos as well or if you want to disable you can go ahead and do that okay here you have a number of videos okay you can also specify the number of youtube videos that you want i'll just leave it at one layout options okay so this one here gives you options to the way you want to rearrange your images and videos so if you want an, an image an alternate image and video okay if you want an alternate video and image first images then videos or first videos then images okay i'll go with the alternate image and video because i like having the image first and then the videos last next you have this section here is your keywords to include in the text okay so here's where you're going to enter the keywords that you want now here on your right hand side here it says nlp keywords generation so you can actually select this to automatically generate the keywords that you want so if you click on this 
It's going to generate the relevant keywords. So this traveling, vacation, tourism, adventure, exploration, journey, trip, getaway, wanderlust, globe, trotting. You can go ahead and add more keywords because as you can see, you're given up to 150 characters, right? Or keywords rather. So these are currently 10. You still have 140 more uh, keywords to add but you don't need to add many keywords i think the one that they recommend is enough like 10 is enough so i'll just leave it at that next you have your structure so this is the introductory hook brief okay you can enter specific introduction or you want or if you want an exact type of introduction style you can actually type it here okay i think i'll just let it do the magic by itself i won't actually enter any introduction here all right here you have your conclusion if you want to add a conclusion if you want to add tables h3 tags list all of this okay i recommend you just leave them all okay these are all seo features and you want to leave them on okay next you have your internal linking so here it says automatically index your website or index your site and add links relevant to your content okay select a wordpress site and your semantic search will find the best pages to link within your article so you can actually link this to a wordpress website okay if they if you have a wordpress website if you're writing for yourself or if the client has a wordpress website you can actually link it directly so the article is going to be posted directly to their wordpress website and here you also have external linking so this here also helps with backlinking okay as you can see it says external linking automatically integrates authoritative and relevant external links into your content while also allowing you to manually specify desired links okay this is very very important these two are actually very important so i highly recommend you use them for seo purposes okay next you have your con uh, connect to web here it says currently your connected to web is off okay limiting you to pre-trained data switching to basic web or deep web okay reduces ai hallucinations and improves accuracy so here they recommend that you use uh you switch to deep basic web or deep web okay to reduce air hallucinations improving accuracy okay you can go ahead and do that click on basic web once you do that it's going to say quickly finds from thematic sources and uses them as a factual basis for writing an actual okay recommended highly recommend that you enable this also and then you also have source links so this is the last section where I showed you where you can have external links. As you can see, it says at the bottom of the article, a list of used sources will be displayed. You can choose which format in which these sources are presented. Okay. So if you want to add external links or other source links, you can go ahead and do that. I highly recommend you do that because it's also going to help other people, the readers to, you know, get more sources, get, get more information relating to traveling. Okay. Or relating to whatever article you're writing about. So you can either choose URL or a link name url link name link name url okay i can just leave it at url here you have search source so you have real-time search you can select this as well there is real-time real-time news URL, uh, url references so here the real-time search says the technology of real-time search results enable the immediate acquisition of search findings which are then utilized for article writing so as it says here it's going to enable you to find real-time search results so this is very important because it's going to actually enable immediate acquisition of search findings okay basically what people are currently searching for and it's going to utilize that on the article okay very very powerful features and this is what makes this tool very 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 effective here we have syndication okay so create materials based using article of various platforms so here's where you can add your social media this twitter linkedin facebook you can add an email newsletter whatsapp message okay so you can integrate any of these onto that article okay next we have link to page so if you leave that selected it's going to say no link will be used in the creation of marketing materials ensuring clean and appealing content okay if you select placeholder a placeholder with the text your link will be added which can later be replaced with your actual link so this is where you can actually place like affiliate links you can replace your link with this feature here okay but if you're not really sure of what this does you can just leave it at no link okay and then lastly we have the outline editor this enables the editor of your article to gain the ability to add personalized outline of your upcoming article enhancing their structure and relevance okay now this is optional uh, some articles have outlines uh, if you are, if you like to have an outline for your article that's fine again also these preferences depend on the client if the client wants an outline you can actually ask them if they want an outline for the article and you can go ahead and enable that outline by clicking on this 
okay i'll just leave it off and then here we have a document if you want to save it to home you can select a different directory by clicking on change here and then lastly you have publish to wordpress okay so you can actually publish this directly to wordpress all right but if everything is done you can just go back up over here and then just click on run so currently it's generating you can see the progress here and once it's done you'll see the check mark now they have some options here you can click on this to view it if you want to repeat that process you can download the html you can go ahead and edit or even just delete it okay i'm going to view it and here we have our article so 2562 words we have the h1 title here we have the introduction we have the image here okay now this is what i was telling you they kind of like a watermark if you want like a watermark on your image you can have this or you can just go ahead and, redu uh, and remove it you can also regenerate another image okay if you don't want this current one you can regenerate this by clicking on this it says the image regeneration costs about a hundred words key takeaways you have the key takeaways more subtitles we have a quote here this is also used a lot especially with seo optimized articles okay we have bullet points here we have numerical points okay we have a youtube video here okay and we also have more content here okay as you can see very very well detailed article another image here more bullet points here okay we have a table over here okay we have an image all of these are images are ai generated we have a table here again okay bullet points all right faqs and our source links okay remember i selected urls so this is just urls all right so a very very powerful tool this is especially helpful for guys who want to you know sell seo articles want to write articles here on fiverr this is similar to what these guys are doing maybe they're also using seo tools or um, ai seo tools or they're just writing many of them are actually writing them manually but for you you can actually use this ai tools and start selling services here on fiverr another platform that you can come up and sell your services here is upwork okay this is upwork.com it's very very similar to fiverr so again as you can see there are people who are uh, selling writing services when you're saying crypto article writer okay this is actually persons who are looking for you know crypto article writers you can also go ahead in this tool and uh, you know write an article on crypto and his estimated budget is a hundred dollars okay so we also have this one here copywriter trainee or the copywriter and trainee blogger here's a payment verification so the good thing about uh, upwork compared to fiverr is that you can see clients who have actually bought services here and they are verified payments okay so you can actually you know use people who have verif uh, verified payment because these are people who are guaranteed to pay you once the job is done okay so these are services again that you can offer on these freelance platforms and make money selling seo optimized articles okay guys so that's it for this video here i hope you learned something i hope you're going to at least apply some of these services and utilize this seo ai tool okay so that's it for this one thanks for watching see you on the next one